I forgot to record the meeting. Oh my goodness. Ah, there. Okay. Right there. Right. Okay. Sorry for that. Now, I'm hoping that you have the material with you. Okay. Now, we are going to find number one, how she started. Okay. How she started her career. Okay, number two, her beliefs. And number three, her plans, her future plans. Okay, so when you read the whole article, you have to remember these three. Okay, you are going to find how she started. Okay, the first uh, paragraph. Okay, she started at the age of six. Okay, at the age of six. Okay, when you read, when you move on, can you see any other points? Okay, about how she started? She was recently listed in the top 10 world ranking for the under 17 category in girls' tricks. Is this how she started? No. Okay, definitely no. Okay, we'll go to the next paragraph. I was six months old when my dad, my, sorry, when my dad stood at the edge of the pool, counted one to three and simply threw me into the water. Alia said with a giggle. Okay. So, what do you think this? Is this, is this one, or one of the points that how she started? What do you think? Okay, now this is just the distraction to you. This is not actually. Now, if you go further, she was five when Hanni Fa Yong is actually the father, took her to a water ski tournament at the Putrajaya Lake. Okay, so this is another content point. Okay, paragraph 2, line 8. Okay, she was 5 when Hanifa Yung took her to a water ski tournament at the Putrajaya Lake. Okay, this is C, C2. Just now, just now, C, C1. Okay, C2. Now, next, okay, line 9, seeing the participants attempting so many different moves and tricks picked her interest. Okay, this is another, this is another, another point. Okay, so just now, picked her interest. Okay, it was only natural since her family, okay. Can you see 10 here? So, can, you can just erase 10 there. Okay. It is actually line 10. Okay. What's only natural since her family has a close affinity to water? Hanifa was involved in water skiing in the 1990. Okay. Erase 5 there. Ah, I've told you there are some uh, errors in the article. He is now the Malaysian water ski and wakeboard. Okay, what do you think? The, the rest of the paragraph, do you think it is how Alia started? Ah, what do you think? Okay, definitely no. Okay, now we'll go to third paragraph. Now you have to remember how many C? How many C? 10 C. 10 Content points. Okay, right. Now let's go to this. Okay, how she started. Okay, when you read paragraph 3, can you see some more content points here? You have to remember how she started. You must also identify her beliefs, 
you must also identify her future plans. Okay. While pursuing her passion, she has suffered from muscle tears and a torn ligament in her knee. Still winning. Okay. Okay. Now tell me, is there any content points here? Okay, what, what can we see here? Her biggest dream is to become a multiple world champion. Okay, this is her, her hopes, right? Okay, this is her hopes. Her hopes. Okay. As expected, her success does bring pressure. She is expected to do better every time she goes into competition. She says that sometimes she worries, but other times she... Okay, erase 20 here, doesn't really think about it and just does her best. Okay, some more? Paragraph 4. Okay, now if you go to paragraph 4, you can see her plans. Okay, you can see her plans. Okay, number one, continue her water skiing career. Okay, you will also see her hopes. Hopes to train full time in Florida. Okay, another hope. To attend the Picos Water Ski at Santa Rosa Beach. Okay, another hope. Okay, another one. She is hoping to take up playing the electric guitar. So, another hope here. See, the word hoping is actually giving you the, the clue. Now, next paragraph. So, you have to remember until line 28 only. Remember line 28 only. So, that is line 30. So, we just cancel the rest of the lines. Okay, Alia tries to get other people to join the sport. Okay, so this is actually her future plans. Okay, people are still very supportive there and then she has to skip school. Okay, that's all. Now, do we have 10C? What do you think? Do we have 10C so far? Do we have 10 content points so far? Okay, so now let's check. C1. Okay, C2. Okay, we also have here C3. Oops. Mm. C4. Okay, we have we have C4 here. We have C4. Okay. We also have C6, C7, C8. Okay. C9. Last one, C10. Okay. Now we already have 10 content points. All right. Okay. So that are uh, actually your battle, battle, battle points. Ah, you, you, do you play Mobile Legend? Ah, this is battle points, can right? Okay. Now, now we have all the battle points. Now, if you, if we copy and paste them into our, into your um. 
answer sheet, do you think that this will actually 130? Okay, no. That's why you have to eliminate some of the enemies. Okay, so what I say here, enemies here are actually words that are not related. Okay, so words are not important. Okay, in your in your answer. Okay, now that's why. Okay, I am suggesting that you use the summary grid one three zero. Okay, can you see summary grid one two zero? Very easy. You draw. Okay, you draw the grid one two three four five five columns. Five columns. Okay, and twenty six rows. So if you Times them five times twenty six, it will become one hundred thirty. Okay, so this is the summary grid. So when you write your summary, so you must use the summary grid. Why? 